Greetings, Tomo Poppers. I think that's what I can call you guys. Anyway, Chris Pranger here. I've been gone for quite a while. Hopefully, you've all been super bummed about that. Uh, I've been working landscaping, and I haven't had time to write. So, hopefully, I have a job now that will let me do all this. That's the goal. We're waiting for the call. We'll find out. But I did get something really cool in the mail today. I have a mysterious package. Well, mysterious to you guys, not for me. I know exactly what's in it. It's from Jin Sayatome. I'm guessing that's how it's pronounced. Gene? Well, Gene sent me an email after one of his uh, customs got featured and said he would send me something. So he's either going to send me something really cool or this is actually uh, some sort of retaliation. We're about to find out. And uh, and you get to find out with me. Why not? Because that's the best way to do it. So let's see here. I'm excited. Very cool. Any more presents? No. Okay, so. Just as I thought. It is the, a, the custom shy guy. He made me another one. Because... I, I was nice to him, I suppose. And so now I got one for my very own. In a very delicately really wrapped. He really takes care of his work. That's nice of him. That's good, because I am going to beat the hell out of this thing when I play with it. And uh, you know, these, on, these unboxing things are always the best, aren't they? You just sit and watch as the guy stutters around and tries to open the thing. Can show you this is bubble wrap is what we used here uh, and shipped with um, United States Postal Service. So uh, USA, USA. Not really. Our postal service sucks. Anyway, ooh, cool stuff. Um, this is the shy guy. Eventually, I'll get to him. Um, here's the rail gun. That's pretty damn cool. Can't wait to put that on. Accessories, flamethrower, sickle thing. That's really cool. Come on now. Come on now. Ah, ah, ah. And here we go. Very cool. Very snazzy, too. Ooh, even smells nice. It, it's important that figures smell good, by the way, if you were not aware of that. So here's Jin's work, and this is really, really good work. Uh, now I get, can I get to see it in my own hands. I am excited for this. This is perfect height too. Like this, this figure here is sweet. Um, I don't remember the exact things he used, but this is cool. This is a cool thing, especially going along with all the accessories. It's pretty damn cool. And I'm gonna, I gotta play with this thing. As you can see, it's all custom work here, but it's, uh, it's Frankenstein from other toys. Um, clearly a lot of Marvel, Marvel Legends. I noticed that Gene likes Marvel Legends. They have, they seem to just work so well for customizing stuff. And I'm fine with that, because I like Marvel Legends. This fun brand. I don't quite know how to get this to go, because I don't want to break it. That's, that's the other sad part, is if I break this, I can't get another one. So, alright. Chain gun. Yeah, at least holding it the wrong way. Well, he'll hold his chain gun like that. This is pretty damn cool. And I'm very happy to see this. This, For comparison's sake, here's another Marvel Legends beast with his um, Chris Love You t-shirt sweater, because he gets cold. They're about the same height. This is perfect. This guy is perfect for playing. He's a perfect height for playing. And I'm, I'm psyched about that. I am psyched. The, he moves in all the right places, too. His head moves really well. He's got the full arm movement, not restricted whatsoever, even by this big old cool backpack thing, which is where the minigun plugs into. Okay, I see. So I'll plug that in later when I'm not dinking around. The, the downside is the leg movement, which is still actually, he gets a lot of free leg movement, which I'm surprised. Because there's a, there, that's usually the biggest downside of action figures is when they have uh, these types of cloaks, they can't move. This one can move pretty, pretty freely. So Gene knows what he's doing. He's, he makes good work. If you get a chance to buy any of his stuff from an auction, I highly recommend doing it. Now, I mean seriously, this is this is high quality stuff. Just take a look here. Just the little details we've got. Just every little bit 
This is going to get broken so fast. I'm going to be so sad. It's so sad. So sad. I know, Beast. So sad. But we'll try to keep him away from all the breaking of stuff. The dog is gone right now, so that's good. But let me see what else we got in here. So I see we have a flamethrower and the sickle. Um, I think the flames go on the gun. So we'll attach those on there. And, uh... I think, at least. Could go there. Well, maybe I'll have to ask him. No, I'm pretty sure it goes there. Well, that, that would be kind of strange. I'll figure that out another time. That This is for another time for me. But this is still pretty cool. I'm I'm quite happy. I'm happy! I got a free toy today from a good artist, a custom artist, and I'm gonna ask him to send me more because I need more than just this. I can't have just this. I mean, come on. I, I, I got excited about your Earthworm Jim, and I got equally excited about this, but now I still need more. So, um, yeah, if you get a chance at all with the auctions, check out Gene's website. I'll put it in the actual article. Check his stuff out, because he does good work. He does good customs, and I like customs. This is, this is the first custom I've ever got my hands on. I want more. <laughs> I need more action figures, and so if, um, Gene, if you want to send me more, for God's sake, send me more of these. Otherwise, I'll start paying for them, most likely. Everyone else should as well. Check him out. Uh, check out the Shy Guy article again to see some other close-ups. I'll give some nice little close-ups of this guy with, with my custom beast. Custom because I put a sweater on him. Um, so that's, that's that for now. Nice, short, and simple. It's just a fun toy. I'm just going to keep spinning him around. That If I sit here, I'm just going to keep spinning him around and checking him out. And I'm going to want him to fight somebody. And he might as well. Come here, Leo. Perfect height. Here we go. See, this is this is, this is great. Perfect action figure height, which works because, I mean, he's gutted from other Marvel Legends that are that roughly the same size. This is just fun stuff. You know what? Next one, do a Ninja Turtle. Something Ninja Turtle related is what I want to see. Because uh, we already had a bunch about a month ago, back when I was more regular on the site. We had a bunch of Ninja Turtle customs. I want to see more. I want to see some legit customs, not just repaint jobs. So, balls in your court. And uh, that's, that's it for now. So, a good day to you all.